Okay, everybody. I'm gonna do a little paper mache demo for you. Um, okay, so here's a lot. There's a lot of supplies, I guess, but here's all the stuff I got. Um, first off, you're gonna wanna put something on the table. I have this green mat here, but I would really recommend that you put a garbage bag under your work. Um, paper sticks to paper. So don't put paper under your work because it'll all stick together. Something plastic under your work. Here's my piece, it's all taped up, ready to be paper mache. Um, I got flour in here. I've got water, cup, glue. Um, I used these to cut up some little pieces of paper towel and to cut up some little pieces of newspaper. Um, you're gonna need a good stack of those. So here's my newspaper, here's my paper towels. Um, what else? Oh, I think I brought something over here. Oh, this is to mix up my little formula. I got some glue here too, which you don't have to use, but I put a little bit in there. Um, okay, so let's start with the paste. You're gonna take your cup. Um, you can find recipes for paper mache mix, but I never used uh, a recipe. I just put a little bit of, I just put a little bit of flour in. You can't really keep this for very long because it goes bad because it really is just like pancake mix. So just make a little bit at a time. Um, also, don't dump this down the drain. Um, when you're done with it, you should um, scrape it into the garbage and then clean the container. Um, okay, so then I just put a little water in it and I mix it up. Oh yeah, and I've got my smock on here to protect my shirt. Don't wear a nice shirt. It'll get dirty. I put some flour, I put some water, and I just keep stirring it until I feel like it's the right consistency. And you guys might know I'm a terrible cook, so it's not hard to make this. If I can make it, anyone can. So this, you start stirring it up and you're like, uh, no way, way too thick. So then I just add a little more. You're going for basically pancake mix consistency, except maybe a little bit thinner than that. So like crepes. Not that I know how to make any crepes, but I've heard that they're very thin pancakes. So you can see it's a lot easier to add a little bit of water at, the, at a time. And that's why I always start with the flour first. If you add too much water, then you can put some more flour in it. But it's just easier to do a little bit at a time, mix it up, do a little bit more. So now it's starting to get thinner, but see, it's still too gloopy. That's, this is, this is still too thick. I'm gonna put a little more in there. Actually, the thicker it is, the stronger it is, but you're not trying to like build, I don't know, you don't need it to be that strong. And there are negative aspects to it being really, really thick. So now I think I'm kind of liking it. It's kind of drip, 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 see? Um, for me, that's good. Now, I gave you guys a little bit of glue. So not very much, just like a blob in there. Gives it just a little bit more strength. Mix it up. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So, oh, you know what else? You might wanna have a, a wet washcloth laying around to wipe your hands because it is gonna be um, a mess. Okay, it's like you cannot touch your phone or your computer or anything, so hang on. So yeah, go ahead and just have one of these out and ready to wipe your hands on. So here's my piece. You're gonna start with um, the newspaper strips. Um, you dunk and then you kind of make sure that it's on both sides. But you can see I'm, I'm, I'm basically, what I'm doing is squeegeeing it off. I'm pulling some of it off with my fingers. Um, because you can't have it like this. If you dunk and it looks like this, that's way too much paste. This right here, way too much. So you wanna take it and use your fingers and go like this. Squeege it, squeegee it off. So it's nice and smooth on both sides, but it does have to be on both sides. Then you kind of wrap it like mummy bandages. So you're gonna wrap and wrap around whatever it is. Now, hopefully you guys are gonna do things with all kinds of different shapes, but whatever shape you do, you really gotta push and smooth 
the um, paper mache on there so that it's not flapping up and looking crazy. I'm gonna put one more piece on here. And then I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna kind of skip the rest. You see how I'm squeegeeing it off? I'm gonna skip the rest and go straight to paper towels to show you what we do with the paper towels. You need to do a whole layer of just newspaper before you even think about moving on. Now, in this case, I'm looking at this and I'm like, that's not gonna make it around. So it's okay to rip it in half and then, you know, put this part over here. A lot of times you'll find that your newspaper strips, you gotta rip them at the last second or whatever. And the best part is now your fingers are really sticky. So when you touch them, they just stick right to your finger. How about that? Okay, one more. So you dunk it. It's gotta be wet on both sides, both sides but it can't be a big gloppy mess. You've got to pull it off gently like this. And like I said, it's like you're, this is literally how they would have wrapped mummies in ancient Egypt with paper mache, I'm kidding. Um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. So I've got my first layer right here kind of wrapping up. If you see little pieces sticking up, just like push them down, push them down, push them down. Now. I'm going to pretend like this whole thing is done and I'm going to show you what to do with paper towels. Okay. Because paper towels are precious. They are your very last layer. You can think of the newspaper as like the strength and the paper towels as like the finish. Okay. So I've already cut these up into little pieces. Sometimes I do pretty small pieces of paper towel. They're very like, um, easy to rip. So like all I did was just barely touch it in there and it's it's really hard to squeegee it. Wait, I should get closer too. It's really hard to squeegee it because it rips super easy. So sometimes I just kind of get a little bit on one side and it really just like soaks right through both sides. So paper towels are really weak, but they also make a very smooth surface. So then I put it directly on top this actually works best when it's still wet, but you could do it later. And I just wrap the paper towel around and you'll see the paper towel is, it's like really clingy and really easy to um, make it stuck really good. You can see I'm actually kind of, I just dunked it on one side and then I sort of pulled it through really gently and it's already through both sides because the paper towel is so thin. But also you guys might be using higher quality ones from home. These are the cheap school ones. Um, okay, so here's my next spot. I'm gonna gently put it around, push it down. Okay, now that's gonna be it for this demo. Um, do not forget to smooth, smooth, smooth. Get in there and push all the extra pieces down very smoothly. Um, and remember, so wait, you can see that I'm um, this paper towel makes a nice surface. Everything has to be absolutely flat. So you'll get into these like creases and crevices, wrap things around there, smooth it down. Um, and this stuff is just flour, water, and a little bit of, of like school glue. So it's not like toxic, but when it dries, it is really hard, which is what we want. But when it dries on your clothing, you can wash it off. But when it dries on like surfaces like this, like a table, it is pretty hard. You have to like scrape it to get it off. So I would definitely recommend to you that you go ahead and clean it up while it's wet with like a little soap and water because it makes it a lot easier. But anyway, good luck and um, have fun.